Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Melanie, Jim, and I meant to roll. I had to come back at it again, y'all. I'm going to try to do more readings at work, y'all, my bad. But if you are trying to hit me up for a reading, questions and answers, anything like that, please let me know because um, you're going to be part of a raffle and you're going to be getting something and I'm going to be doing a raffle, I think, on a Friday or Saturday. So, y'all, let me know what's going on, y'all. So, y'all, um, I've been getting a lot of messages, y'all. My condolences to that elementary school in Texas, y'all. Like, I don't know what's going on with people. Like, you literally went into a school and, and killed 14 elementary school kids. Like, what be going through people's mind? Like, what literally what be going through people's minds i don't be understand i don't know it is what it is i don't understand but i'll let the laws deal with that because i know they was like man this is this what is the world coming to like y'all literally coming to a whole elementary school like people thinking they sending their kids to a place where they're going to be protected and then y'all, I've been getting energies of um like growing up, you didn't have the best life or whatever, but you still got through that shit, y'all. And then I get another energy of um people making plans for projects, y'all. I bet my eye was itching, y'all. And then um I'm getting an energy of people are slowly moving away from the things that serve them no purpose and then i'm getting an energy of people are agitating you it's the agitation for you and it's like people are not respecting your boundaries but you put your foot down and honestly when you leaving this person alone it's like you're going through a grieving process y'all i had a few people come to me about that and it's really a grieving process when you're not around someone and you're not in their energy or something like that it's like you know your body's used to something your energy is used to something that's not there and it's not good for you y'all i'm getting an energy about um people digging up old cases and putting stuff back together and figuring out who did what y'all 244 on the motherfucking clock y'all i'm um getting energies of people realizing what they're doing and now they're trying to come back like they breaking their neck and she they try to come back or whatever and they can't and ain't and it's like they in their head like damn this shit for real like she for real he for real and i know y'all getting tired of these weird ass energies y'all and these people that keep coming in and keep saying that oh i'm gonna change and they don't or they change for a little while and then i'm getting the energy of um people are being put in compromising situations and or someone thinks that they're not going to get what they need and it's for the greater good it's going to happen you just got to stop you know looking at the people that you think is supposed to help you and look at god i'm telling you he's going to send the right people to you y'all so let's see what type of um chakra or crystals or anything like that we may need y'all thank you guys for your god archangels and ancestors for the messages for Gemini's. Let me get probably like three. Thank you, God. Ooh, it was this one. Let me get them all out now. Thank you, God. Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages for our Gemini's ancestors. Let's get them. Give me two more. Ooh, they gave me these two. these up and put these back in the deck so it was these twos that came out and this i guess they said I, 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 i'm getting onyx so onyx y'all anatomy self-discipline and command onyx tune into your inner um commander onyx is a strong alley dispelling loneliness and self-doubt so this is what I was, this girl was talking about, and she may need this stone, y'all. And um, and it says self-doubt in installing greater confidence in your decision-making. Face your fears and know that you have the power to overcome them. 
Onyx's surface represents the passing of time, the balance of the yin and yang. It is um, sturdy and solitary stone and encouragement encourages you to break free from any unhealthy relationships in order to be um, automicious. I, I think that's the word. Automicious. I don't know, Mishes. I don't know. Y'all let me know. A U T O M O M U. I mean, M O U S. So, Automo Mishes. Automo. Moving forward, know that you are completely compatible of making the right decisions for yourself. After all, it's your life. It's a Sagittarius energy. Or you're dealing with a Sagittarius, or you're going through the situation, or you have this in your Saturn. Moving forward, y'all. Rainbow. Maya night. Chakra alignment. What I told y'all. Foundation. Karma. An exceptionally high vibration. Vibrational crystal. Rainbow. Maya night. Allows you to face any challenges. Karmic patterns. And pull out to drudgery of the past that is in ground in the energetic body it heals emotional tra traumas on every level rebuilding the foundation for a healthy support system from the inside out contacting you i mean connecting to your spiritual team and crystals can guide you in seeing multiple um perspe perspectives Offering many solutions, existing in ultimate alignment with all the chakras. Rainbow um, Maya Night it helps you to step into your um, authentic truth. This is Leo, Virgo, or Libra. So this has something to do with us Gemini's and or the person that you are dealing with that is a earth sign. Or this is in your sunshine. So this is what it looks like. I like these, man. Look. I'm going to give me something like this. And here's the other one. And this is Onyx. And then the other one is Rainbow Aura Quartz. Aura Healing Magic Universe Light. It says, fused with titanium, the metal of power, Rainbow Aura Quartz is um, amplified with enhanced healing properties the song is able to heal human energy fields by infusing the auras with rainbow fields of light rainbow aura course is a wonderful companion for astral projection and out of body experience she's join joining you in the beyond while keeping your physical self um anchored colors have the healing and quality of rainbow quality and are um able to match the stones to your aura energy fields to repair and release blocks living your life in color with the crystal is a um must all signs y'all all signs that's what it look like y'all one last one y'all and then it says suggle Suggy light, y'all. S U G I L I T E. Ordinarily, okay. So ordinarily, or originality, forgiveness, unconditional love. So, suggy light helps anybody who has ever felt like they can, they do not belong, feel loved and supported. So, vibrating with violet rays of unconditional love, sugar light, or sugar light brings light works down to earth. And then it says, down to earth, opening them up to share their gifts while staying grounded on the planet earth. For some overthinkers and warriors, uh, this stone advocates issues of the mind allowing you to focus on what's truly important living your truth this um crystal uh facilitates 
of forgiveness for those that have um, hurt you, including yourself. Open your heart to what's possible by letting go of the things that no longer serve you. This is Virgo and Sagittarius. So these may be the two signs that you are dealing with, y'all. So moving forward, y'all. Let's get into the tarot. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't want to make this. I don't want to make this, you know, but, you know, I get raw, uncut. We ain't editing shit. But, y'all, I just been, you know, holding it down, y'all. Holding down the fort, giving us Gemini's the messages that we need, y'all. Thank you, guys, Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages. So, somebody is feeling like they don't belong somebody feels like they are not wanted or somebody is trying to get over a relationship somebody is trying to heal themselves and stay away from whoever is making them feel as such thank you guys spirit god our angels and the ancestors for the messages from my collective of gemini okay y'all so it says Seven of Cups and the Star. So somebody is unsure of the right decision. Somebody is unsure that they are making the right decision. But you are making the right decision. 11.33 on the clock. That's your intuition. It's telling you that you're in the right place. Just don't let anything, you know what I'm saying, try to sit around here and deter you. You feel me? Then I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles. So someone may be dealing with a, a queen of pentacles and or you are um good with money you may be a, a a banker or something like that or someone that helps people with their finances queen of cups or someone's dealing or this is a defined ma masculine message or a family message because i'm getting a lot of stuff about family and stuff too y'all so something about Someone is praying that things work out for the good after making this decision. And then somebody is looking, you know what I'm saying? Like someone's looking at the decision like, damn, I'm hoping I'm making the right decision, but you are. And then I'm getting something about how somebody is, is meditating or somebody is manifesting. And then I'm getting the five of pentacles somebody um in reverse so somebody doesn't want to make a wrong decision and be back in the same situation that they was before in this situation with a water sign two of cups or this virgo or this fire sign or this taurus or the sagittarius leo or aries and then i'm getting the emperor so i'm already getting taurus with this energy right here I'm already getting, and then I feel like you're playing chess, but don't try to checkmate too quick. Don't try to jump the gun too quick because you are someone's karma. They have to watch you be happy with somebody else, around somebody else, and then I'm getting you leaving. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is watching your ass leave the chariot. Somebody is watching you leave. Somebody watching your actions of you leaving something about um six of wands celebration you left to get your celebration you left to get your healing leaving separating finally realizing your self-worth realizing self-worth when you separate from them giving back the self-love that they never gave you you know what i'm saying then i'm getting the, the king of wands so this may have been a fire sign this could have been a earth sign and it could have been a water sign and then i'm getting something about somebody is getting a karma somebody getting a karma for leaving you out in the cold and you're getting a good judgment to you staying down you're getting celebration moving forward y'all thank you guys for your guiding our changes then i'm getting somebody is in the four swords energy someone's protecting their heart somebody is protecting their emotions i'm saying something about somebody someone's judgment is you separating and turning your back to them and healing yourself because 
you feel that when you protect your heart, you can do it better than anybody. Moving forward, y'all. Dear God and Archangels. And it's for the messages for my Gemini's. You guys, spirit, I want to end this my ancestors. Give me a few more messages and we'll close this reading out. Somebody is contemplating. Somebody is contemplating a relationship with a fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And honestly, you shouldn't be even wasting time contemplating. It's going to be the same thing over again or this fire sign. And I'm getting something about a, the fool in reverse, y'all. Y'all going to make, it's going to, this is not something new. There's something that comes constantly keeps happening. And if you want to constantly keep being in relationships or even if it's a family situation, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Because people get tired, and when people get tired and they elevate, they don't even fuck with it. Three of Swords, somebody is heartbroken, y'all. Somebody is do, is contemplating on a heartbreak or someone who hurt them or the same person that keep doing the same thing over and over again. I don't know who that is, y'all. Moving forward. Then I'm getting Four of Cups. Somebody is is think is, I'm getting four four. So somebody's protected. Somebody is protected. Somebody is is like daydreaming or wondering how it would be. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody thinking like, man, I don't want this shit no more. I'm tired of this shit. Eight of swords. Somebody fighting and and fighting in mentally in their head. And then I'm getting something about new ideas or new ideas to get away from or keeping yourself busy moving forward y'all i told you i'm keep getting ideas or ways to get back into your energy and it's not working because you're protected the seven of freaking wands then i'm getting the strength card somebody's having strength even though it's hard it's, it's been very hard to, to give in. It's been hard. And then I'm getting four pinnacles. Somebody is holding their money. I'm getting four, 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 y'all. Four of motherfucking pinnacles. Somebody holding their money, budgeting their money, not giving money to nobody, shutting themselves off, not fucking with things that serve no purpose, not dealing with shit that serves no purpose, y'all. That should be the title. Then I'm getting temperance. Somebody is tempering themselves with things that they know are not going to change. Someone is tempering themselves from things that's not going to change. Somebody's being protected from people, places, and things that won't change. Somebody is keeping themselves busy. That's what I'm getting. Keeping yourself busy and separating yourself from things that won't change. One more card. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, Archangels, and the Ancestors. Okay. I'm getting a higher front. You're you're protecting yourself from things and staying away from your from things and turning your back on things that keep, you know what I'm saying? Like you get enlightenment that they're gonna keep doing what they're doing to get your power. You need to use your intuition on this. Please use your intuition and do not in, ignore your intuition. And this is a relationship. And y'all don't do this. Don't go back. Page of Wands. So someone finna say fuck it. Someone finna throw that shit and say just fuck that shit. I just ain't got time. We're too imbalanced, y'all. I'm getting someone needs to be using their intuition and stop using, you know what I'm saying, your heart right now and use your root chakra and your, you know what I'm saying, crown chakra on this. Ground yourself. That'll be all, y'all. Let me know what's going on.